Hey Scrappers, Moose here. So I'm uh, pretty excited. I just got uh, a box in the mail from Mount Baker Mining Company. Um, they're out in, uh, in way out west. Um, so th this is some material that I've, I've never actually had the opportunity to work with. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to just, you know, play around with it and see what I can figure out. So this is what um, this is what they sent me from. Uh, <coughs> we're going to start off. At, I, I've mentioned this guy's uh, videos before um, on one or two of my videos and it, it, <laughs> you guys have to check this channel out what this guy is doing with um, with, with not only gold ore but with um, just God, everything that you can scrap he's got this um, this crusher that will demolish anything and everything and it produces some really nice to work with material um, so let's take a look here all right so in this bag over here this is several pounds um, this is high grade motherboards um, now if you watched his video he's got a, a shaker table and this is what came out of the uh, one two and, th and three um, slots so this is the, the higher grade material and you look at that you can see it's amazing how much that material is crushed. I mean, those IDE pins are demolished. And I can see a, a gold flake right... Where's my finger? Right there. You can see, you know, it's a piece of gold right there, but everything else is just so finely ground up. So that's going to be fun to work with, see how much gold I can pull out of that. Now, the next thing that he sent me was that same material, but what he did um, is he melted it into a block. And this is just from... The, the the first and second slot so this is like the heaviest the material with the high specific gravity so you're gonna have like your gold you're gonna have silver platinum palladium group um, but as well as the tin solder and that kind of stuff I mean this thing is god at least a pound um, and he has a video on this as well where you can see he this is where he polished it off a little bit so you can see that's a nice gold color. So it tells me there's a lot of brass in there. Over here, this is stuff that I've never, ever, ever had the opportunity to work with. And I've had a lot of requests for um, videos on it, so I've not been able to do anything. But this is the, the black sands from, um, from mining gold. You know, it's, it's nothing to do with electronics at all. This is uh, what's, you know, what you get. This is all the fine stuff that... You see all those shows on TV where the, they're panning for gold or, or mining for gold. They, they classify everything down and they get to these black sands. And what he's done is he's, uh, he's panned out all the gold that he could. So if anything, there's just, you know, flower gold in there. And, and any gold that's left in there is going to be, like, stuck in sulfides. Um, and, and as well, Mom Baker has um, a video on that as well, where what he did was he shows one of the techniques for... Uh, getting that gold out of there is to um, you take the black sands and you mix in some chapman flux, you put in some copper, some people use zinc, um, and some people, well they used to use lead, but because it's so toxic people don't really use it much anymore. But you get this, which is, you know, it's basically a, you know, a chunk of copper but all the gold has been, it's a, it's a chunk of copper, but all the gold has been, you know, pulled out of the, the black sands and is now in there. Now, there's other things that were added to it. You know, sometimes they add iron filings, things like that to get rid of the sulfides uh, to help release that gold. But now the, the question is, how do you get the gold out of there? So that's what I'm going to play with. I'm going to have some fun doing it. So this video is kind of a teaser of what's to come, I guess. And uh, I'll let you know what I what I find. Thanks for watching. Hey, Scrappers, Moose here. So I just wanted to add an addendum to um, a video that I did regarding Mount Baker Mining Company and uh, their process for recovering precious metals from motherboards. So I, I think it's important for people to know exactly what's on a motherboard. Um, with with the process that I went through, he he gave me what was 50 pounds of motherboards, which is probably about 20 motherboards, um, 20 to 25, uh, or less, depending on the motherboards. And 
all the metals that he pulled off of those. Now, what I've done here is just to give you an example of what we're talking about for, for material, this is what would be considered um, one of the higher end, I, I guess, um, motherboards. It's green to start off with. It has the large socket, all right, and it's not a metal socket, so that's, this is one of the, the boards that had like uh, one of the ceramic chips. So this is older, it's going to have thicker plating. Um, you know, again, it has north and south bridge chips. It has, you know, a lot of ICs here and there, some, you know, monolithic ceramic capacitors, etc., etc. So what I've done is I've taken a board just like this and completely pulled off everything on it that contains gold or precious metals. And that's what it comes out to. All right? So you have from one board you get a few ICs, two flat packs, all right? Um, some um, wheels are crystal oscillators, they can have a little bit of gold in them, not much. Some monolithic ceramic capacitors which have silver and palladium. There's some really crappy uh, gold plated pins, the IDE pins, and a jumper that had uh, gold plating in the middle. And that's it. So this in itself, it, there, there's, I mean yes, there's precious metals in there, but there's very, very little. So when, the, when, a, when a, a large refining company buys these boards, all right, they're extracting everything from it. The copper, the brass, uh, the nickel, the silver, the gold, the palladium, the platinum, aluminum, everything that's on there, steel and all, all right? So that's why they're able to make money off of them at buying them at, you know, at $2 a pound. Now, the material that uh, Jason from Mount Baker Mining and Metals gave me, uh, which was these crushed boards, a lot of the material was removed, the lighter material, and my experiment was just to pull out the gold, not the silver, not the palladium, not the copper or the aluminum or brass or steel or anything like that. So the results that I came with are not a complete um, value for the material that this crusher creates. So I just wanted to, to make sure that I mentioned that so that, you know, when people see this, they don't say, well, you know, so it's not really worth it then. Because in quantity it is, and especially if you're one of those companies um, or if you're a group that can process large amounts of material, um, you know, a machine like this, <laughs> you're going to be able to get everything out, you know, quite easily. Um, you know, especially since larger companies are probably going to use, like, you know, some kind of leaching method instead of, you know, AP. You know, they're going to have other methods to extract all the metals out. So, hopefully that helps clarify things a little bit. Filmed a little bit of when I got the packages, what they were, and um, I've come to find that processing them is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. The, um, the cone that was just melted motherboard material, <clears throat> it's, it's less than 0.25% gold. So the amount of chemicals required to dissolve that whole block, it's just not worth it. Um, so it makes a nice paperweight though. Uh, the other cone, the one with the um, just the copper, that one I am dissolving. I am taking the time because that might have a couple of grams, which you know, I think would be worth it, uh, especially considering that the block was less than a pound. So you know, with a gallon of hydrochloric, I should be able to. Get rid of all the copper slowly but surely. It might take a couple months, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> the black sands that um, that were given to me, we're looking for a way to um, process them uh, with a wet method. Uh, wet is referring to chemicals. Um, you've got three methods of gold recovery. You've got uh, wet, you've got um, mechanical, and electrical. Uh, so wet would be chemical. Mechanical would be with heat and adding fluxes, um, and electrical would be like electrolysis or other methods that use you know, a mix of chemistry and electricity. Um, so with the black sands, the the sands do have gold still trapped in it. However, it's um, chemicals can't get to them. 
unless it's ground down to 200 mesh, which is what I'm going to attempt to do, and then see if I can get them out you know, chemically in instead of you know panning, which you know, I've always wanted to gold pan, but yeah, someday. So, <clears throat> and the last thing is the bag of, um, I showed you in the, in the earlier part of this video, uh, a big bag with just a bunch of ground up motherboard material that was, it went through the crusher, uh, I'm not sure what, what mesh it went through, but then it went over a shaker table, and this is the material that came out in the first three slots. Um, so there's going to be you know, hardly, th there was barely any green board material in there, um, there was no plastics, but you're left with um, about eight or nine different metals that you have to deal with, which can be quite tricky. So I went to the gold refining forum, um, and I, I poked around. I got some help from uh, a really experienced refiner, someone who's been doing this for uh, probably longer than I've been alive. Um, and what you need to do, what I had to do with this material first, was take a strong magnet and remove all the magnetic material first. So I, I just spread it out on a cookie sheet and I had a couple of hard drive magnets that were you know, under a plastic lid. So I just rubbed it over and you know, was, all the metal was sticked to the other side of the plastic, held it over a bucket, then lifted the magnet up and it would just drop. Um, so I, I kept doing that until nothing else, the magnet didn't pick up anything. That I went through by hand to look for anything that might be gold plated and I didn't really find anything. Um, some of the IDE pins and stuff that have like a nickel layer under the gold, uh, that can be slightly magnetic, but uh, through the plastic it just wasn't picking up, which is good. Um, so what I did from there was I had to do uh, basically an aluminum leach. I had to use you know a gallon of, of HCL to try and pull the aluminum out of there, um, and some of the other red or really reactive base metals. So I, I pulled that out. <clears throat> and what I was left with was basically um, just the brass and copper. And with that, I put it in hydrochloric acid with, with an air bubbler. Now, here is what it looks like now. Right, that's what's left in the bucket. Um, as you can see, this is left to dry. You can see no rust. That means I got most of the, the ferrous material out. Um, there's still a few. You can see those little beads up in the corner there. So you can zoom in on that. That's, believe it or not, that's like solder that's been balled up in the in the rock crusher. Um, I don't know if it just mashed it all together while I was trying to get it to a finer grade. Um, so that's that's all that is. So now I just have to keep that in there, <clears throat> and this is gonna this is gonna take you know two or three weeks to to go through. Uh, so we'll we'll see what we get at the end. Hey guys, back looking at the um, uh, the crushed motherboard material that uh, Jason at uh, Mount Baker Mining and Metals sent over. Um, so the process is pretty much done. Uh, the only thing left in the bucket are some pins that just don't look like they have any gold left on them. So I'm, I'm considering that finished, even though it's not all completely dissolved. Um, I wanted to mention one thing that I didn't mention the last shooting was when you're doing the aluminum leach, steer clear of the fumes. It's going to be nasty. Um, <clears throat> and once you're done with that, the hydrochloric is going to need to be properly disposed of. No dumping this out in the woods or down your drain or anything. Um, it's going to be some nasty stuff. So, I... Sadly, there really wasn't a whole heck of a lot of gold in there. Um, I'll show you what I've got. That's... If you can see that. That's pretty much it. So that's... That's going to be, it's way less than a gram. So there you have it, Jason. Um, thanks for sending the material over. It was, it, it was fun to play with. Uh, it took a little while. And, you know, just a little bit of foil in there. And it, it kind of looks like a lot in there, but these foils are, are the pieces are so tiny. And, um, if you get, look at it swirling around there. They're so tiny and uh, and thin that once it's all you know, refined, there's not going to be a whole lot. I mean, from my experience looking at that quantity, I can tell you it's not going to be a lot. I'm not going to bother refining it because because there's so little of it. I'm afraid that you know if I do try and 
you know, dissolve it and then precipitate it out with SMB, that um, I'm not going to see anything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna gonna save this up, and you know, a couple times a year I'll process it when I know I have you know several grams. All right, so thanks for watching. Thank you, Jason, for sending that stuff over, and I'm gonna be working on those black sands uh, really soon, and um, and the copper cone. Um, so that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.